Other types of bonds, as in the case of the anemones and the clownfish, bring such total dependence that what began as an advantage can turn into a problem. These fish know longer how to live without the anemones. Other relations between the species may become as sinister as this. The gannets form breeding colonies here in the Galapagos Islands, but there is an additional problem to the ones all parents encounter. Above them on the cliffs live their worst enemies who have come here precisely to feed on the meat of the young. The frigate birds coordinate their own breeding with that of the gannets, with the sole aim of feeding their chicks with those of the other species. From the time they lay their eggs, the gannet couples live a life of constant stress. The black gargoyles above keep watch even as they engage in courtship rituals, checking on the gannet colony, which is their own personal larder. With the future below and terror above, the bond of life and the bond of death go hand in hand in this perverse relationship in which there can only be one winner. This is the Ivory Coast along the Atlantic coast of Africa. Here, the culture of the Dan will illustrate what man's next step was in his search for sacred bonds with supernatural beings. The members of these secret societies are the only ones allowed to have contact with the masks, which represent the protective spirits of each family. The initiated and the clan chiefs establish a complicity with them which goes beyond conventional bonds. Oh. Africa is the birthplace of humanity. In the shadow of these mountains we came down from the trees and our brain developed until we asked ourselves what lies beyond the rivers and the forests. It is here that the music which transports us to heaven was born. Above the couple, the family, the clan and the tribe, the protective spirits whose origins lie in dreams and nature herself provide spiritual peace and strength to accept certain sacrifices of life which without them would be inexplicable. In the end, human beings seek self-awareness by building bridges with those who went before. And the question immediately presents itself, where are they? In the jungle, in the sky or in the sea? But it is comforting to think they protect us, watch over us, and can help us, though for that it is necessary to invoke them. Places illustrate this calling up of the dead so vividly as Haishi, the birthplace of voodoo. The slaves torn from their cultures adopted new doctrines from the whites, but beneath this their ancestral rites always remained. From the combination of the two and the wish to avenge a miserable life, magic arose, the rituals which would finally rid them of their white oppressors.
Death became an ally, and the transition from one state to another became possible, provided you follow the necessary ritual precepts. Frustrated at the problems of life, man looked beyond death for the answers, and as vehicles for this journey, chose other animals inventing the concept of sacrifice, which we could define as killing an animal not in order to eat it, the antithesis of the origin of everything. The voodoo ceremony rises to a pitch of ecstasy. They are now approaching what they will call the crossing, the place where the material and the spiritual world is It may be that after all, Jorge Vilona is better off unaware of his condition. He will continue to court females of other species in the impossible hope that someday one of them will accept him.